everyone, welcome back to my channel, Predict in the Future. Today, we're gonna prove what we have used in elementary probability series of about conditional expectation. Uh, what we have seen in our elementary probability is that given we given that we know uh, a, a joint PDF. Uh, a joint random variables that has a PDF, let's say f x y, uh, to to calculate the conditional expectation of, uh, for example, expected value of g x g is, is a function of x. Uh, given y, what is the formula for that? And we know that it's just integral of g x over the conditional PDF, which will be fxy divided by the marginal PDF of y, and that will be the integral of fxy dx. And, and that's what we need to prove. We want to prove that why this is true, why this is, uh, we can calculate the conditional expectation using this, this formula. Uh, so let's prove that. Remember, we are proving that this this is a candidate of what we define in conditional expectation, uh, which is a version of the candidate. It must satisfy two conditions. First, that candidate must be f measurable. Second, it must satisfy this uh, equation of integral. So, so the first thing is we want to prove that this this is integrable. This is uh, sorry. This is uh, uh, measurable. Uh, so to prove that it's measurable, uh, we rem it's it's two parts: the numerator part, denominator part. Uh, both are functions of uh, both are functions of uh, y. So for fixed y, uh, we want to prove if if we know that this is numerator is in is measurable. Denominator is measurable, uh, a function of two by division is also measurable. So we know that is that is the case. So we, we need to prove that uh, of, of integral form like this, where we have given y, a fixed y, we take the integral of fxy over dx. We want to prove that this is integrable. And this is the same. So this is the same form. Uh, so to prove that, um, we need to prove two lemmas first. First, we want to know that uh, for fix x, let's say x or y, it doesn't matter. So if we fix x, the function from uh, the, 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 the mapping function, the, the function of, from y to fxy is measurable. If we can prove that this is measurable, then what we can do is that we can uh, we can approximate this function f by simple function, simple step functions, and we know that simple step functions are measurable. Uh, as we can we can construct a, sim a, a sequence of simple measurable functions that converge to this, to this f, and, and 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 we can let's see also assume that f is positive. And then we can use the monotone convergence theorem to uh, to prove that this whole thing is measurable because uh, the limit of measurable functions are measurable. So we know that if we approximate that with a you know a step function, let's say f n, uh, uh, and so this is a step function. So definitely the integral of the step function is measurable, and then that whole measurable of the integral of step functions will converge to the actual uh, function of, of this this form and and the limit also be measurable uh, so that's that's how we want to prove it uh, and then for f that is not that is any arbitrary function f uh, me uh, measurable function f uh, what we can do is just write f to be uh, R f plus the positive part of f minus f minus which is the minus uh, negative negative part of f. Uh, so that's basically the idea of proving it, and 
And so the first one, we want to prove that this mapping is measurable. Uh, to prove that, uh, see what we had, what we have done is that we we fix y uh, and map it to f x y. So it's actually uh, so so the function this f x y function is it can be written as a composition function or the f function itself and then a a t function. What where the t function is is that for fix x uh, so x y will match to x y. And by doing that, this will, will, will map to x, y, and that will map to, map to f, x, y for fixed x. Uh, but if you look at this tx function, it's actually, um, it's actually uh, uh, so, uh, so we know f is, by, by, by given condition, f is measurable. If you can prove that f, tx is measurable, then, then, then this, this function is measurable. This function will be measurable. So we want to prove tx is measurable. Uh, but tx, if we take the inverse of tx, so given any uh, Borel set in two-dimensional Borel set, uh, the inverse of tx of a Borel set is actually a, a, a crosscut of the Borel set B uh, on on the x. So the inverse of tx inverse. Uh, so the tx inverse uh, on a Borel set would just be uh, in, uh, a cross uh, a cross section of the Borel set B on on x, uh, and, and that will be the uh, a set on on y. Uh, so so and and we want to prove that this is measurable, which which will be equivalent to given any Borel set. We'll, the bx is in, uh, in is a browser, so we want to prove that bx is a browser. So that's basically what we we, we want to prove, for to prove that tx is 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 measurable, right? Um, the idea is is uh, simple. So suppose we want to prove this is uh, um, uh, so bx is a browser, uh, then. Well, we, we can see that uh, the tx function has two uh, properties. If, if, we, if we take a, a inverse of a b complement, which will just be the real line minus the tx inverse on b, uh, which implies that uh, a broad set, uh, a, a broad set in two-dimensional, the complement of b uh, intersect with x, Right, by cross cross cutting on x x on x, would just be uh, e equivalent to uh, the Borel set uh, cut on x, and then take the complement. So that is coming from from this this equation. Uh, and the second one, if we would take the uh, inverse t x inverse uh, on a uh, countable uh, union of a uh, series of Two-dimensional Borel set B i, it's which will just be equivalent to taking the union of uh, T x inverse on each on each individual B i, and that implies that uh, uh, a union of B i and then uh, the in, uh, cross cross cut on x is just equivalent to uh, the union of each B i across cross cut on x. Uh, so. What these two property uh, will tell us is that uh, if we if we look at the set of B X that that is Borel set that is for for a, for 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 all Borel, two dimensional Borel set uh, the the X cut belongs to a Borel set. If we look at this set B, let's say call we call this B, uh, then if B if if a, if uh, uh, two dimension two dimensional Borel set uh, is in, is inside this set. Let's first look at this one. Then, uh, then the x cut of its b complement is just b x complement, uh, and that is and that is in in the Borel set because we know the b x is the Borel set and complement is in in the Borel set, which indicates that b complement. Is also in in this set B, and the same 
uh, if you have a series of bi in, in this set b, uh, then the union of those bi and then taking the x cut uh, is equivalent to, by this condition, is equivalent to the, the union uh, on bi, bi uh, cut on x for each uh, bi, uh, and then union uh, those, those cuts. And that is just so this set is is in in the Borel set because uh, uh, each each cut is in Borel set the union is in Borel set which means that um, this this one so because this cut is in in the Borel set which means that this is also a Borel set uh, oh sorry this is this is also in in this uh, set B so uh, therefore the set B is actually a, a, a sigma field. And, and since this this set B uh, contains the rectangles, uh, which is uh, rectangles that generates the uh, the two dimension two dimensional Borel sets, we know that the sigma field or the the Borel set in two dimensional Borel set is is a sub Borel set of this this Borel set B, uh, and which in, which concludes that uh, the T inverse X uh, or of B. Uh, which is bx uh, is is in the Borel set for all b in two 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 dimensional Borel set. So that's that proved that the function f x y is is a Borel set uh, is 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 measurable. And then uh, now we know that this is this function for fixed x f x y is is f, is is measurable. Then the next one is, is, is we want to prove that integral of that is, is measurable. And, and the proof uh, separates into a uh, couple of steps. First step is we want to first assume uh, that f is greater than or equal to 0, uh, no negative part. Uh, and, and then we can approximate, uh, approximate the function fx, fxy by a simple functions by defining f x n y to be uh, taking the f x y and then times two to the power n, uh, which you uh, and take the the, the largest number uh, less uh, less than or equal to this, to this this uh, multiplication, and then divide by two to the, two to the power n, which means that this one will always be. Uh, so, so this divided by this will also be less than or equal to f x y, uh, and then to make sure that we don't we don't uh, escape to infinity, we uh, we uh, we limit that to a maximum uh, to a uh, to a maximum of n. So we take the minimum of these two number, and 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 this function when n goes to infinity uh, will just converge to uh, f x y. Uh, so f and x y are just simple functions that converge upwards to this f x y, uh, and so uh, the measure. So we know that this simple functions are measurable. Uh, so that that means that uh, the integral of the fu uh, measurable function is is measurable, uh, and the limit of the integral of the uh, integral of the, of the simple function will just converge to uh, the integral of f x y because f and x is converge upwards to f uh, and both and and both are, are positive, so we can use the modern convergence theorem. Uh, so this one will converge to that, and and because this is so be, because this is measurable. So the limit of measurable functions is also measurable, and the limit of this one. So we know that this integral of f x y dx is measurable, and so that proves that our case where uh, that this is measurable for f is greater than, greater than or equal to zero. Uh, for arbitrary f, we can just write f to be f positive minus f negative r uh, to finish our proof that uh, this function is measurable for any f. Uh, so now we have that this is measurable. Uh, then 
division of two measurable functions is also measurable. Uh, so the, the function h is measurable. So that proves our first condition for uh, for for making this to be to satisfy uh, the definition, the two conditions of uh, conditional expectation. So the second the second uh, condition we need to prove uh, is to prove that the integral of h y the integral of h y on on any uh, or make any event in in the sigma field generated by y, uh, the integral of that would just be equal to the integral of gx uh, on on that same same set. So that's what we want to prove, uh, and the proof is also uh, easy. So suppose uh, a is is uh, set uh, from this generated sigma field of y, uh, then a can be written as uh, uh, a can be written of uh, y omega for some for the so there exists some borough set in B that a omega belongs to uh, B and that is the set A. Uh, so uh, that's that's just because y is a measurable function. So we are taking we can so a is is coming from the the inverse of y y inverse on B. Uh, so so b is the broad set that we are actually integrating. So we therefore, when we integrate that, we are integrating that uh, on the on the b set for any b set uh, so for any uh, set a which is equivalent to the corresponding set b. When we integrate that, uh, integrate the h function, which is our candidate, which is our candidate, uh, with uh, the PDF, which is just uh, the measure. The the uh, distribution measure, uh, which will just be because this is just uh, independent of x, so we, this can be taken out, and and, and inside this is just an integral of that. But h y h y is just uh, has a has a denominator of the same integral, so this will cancel out, so this will cancel out this part uh, with the denominator of h. And what we left is the integral of gx fx y dx, and uh, integral on 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 the borough set b, and that is just integral of gx on the indicator function of y belongs to borough set b, and that is exactly the same of gx on on the set a, and that is proving our uh, second condition, and uh, yeah, so that proves our uh, what we have been using all the time for uh, the candidate function of conditional expectation uh, of using conditional uh, density function. And that's it, everyone. Hope you like it. Remember to uh, smash the like button. Thank you.